We're back on the issue of gateways. In Satanism, you literally invite a demon to come in. Uh, the demon means to you power. Uh, it indicates and gives you knowledge. And it's a part of the, the process. Uh, and some people treat it as a game, but it's a very real event that takes place. Over the course of time, you begin to understand this. And however a demonic spirit comes in, uh, they always have goodies to give you. I remember a time a fellow who contacted me. This is about 10, 10 12 years ago, lived in Sausalito. And he would be, be at home on a little condo on, uh, on a Bridgeway. And he would go into a kind of a meditative state. And he would hear a voice saying to him, Okay, go into uh, Molly Stone. And in aisle whatever, you will meet a woman. And she will come home with you and spend the night. And so he did this um, for quite a period of time. Uh, a youngish man, I would say, <clears throat> mid-30s, good-looking man, smart man, worked in San Francisco uh, at some kind of techie job. And so it was working well for him for a period of time. But then after a while, it became difficult. It started to impact his life and make it kind of crazy. So he had heard about me, wanted me to cast out the demons. So we started that sitting in my office there in Mill Valley, Miller Avenue Baptist Church. And when I was starting, and I'm not going to go through what I do, that will come later in another video. He stopped me and said, I'm told that if these spirits helpers of mine go, I'm not going to get any more of those women. He got up, walked out the door, and that was the last I ever saw him. They always have something good to give. Be assured, promise of health, wealth, prosperity, sex, power over people, knowledge. Maybe it has to do with uh, the stock, uh, stock market. Who knows? All kinds of things. These are gateways. What people want. Satan's got something for it to, to give you. And so Satan worship is a very direct, clear way that you are going to receive a spirit helper, an animal spirit, a spirit guide, uh, some kind of an angel. Whatever the designation is, it's just simply a demonic spirit. And uh, uh, interestingly enough, they will keep you company all the rest of your life uh, early on so that you like it because you're not alone. Uh, but then after a while, an unbearable burden that you can't rid yourself of and that you now find you're under that spirit's control. So we talked about fortune telling be it a gateway, the medium, the channeler, uh, whatever they might think they are. Even the, the hypnotist can be that way. Uh, there are all kinds of ways. Now, the other thing is magic. We don't find this in America so much, but we find it in various parts of the world. Uh, the various uh, offerings made to various deities, things that you go through, and uh, to get what you want done, maybe a curse or the, the, the relieving of a curse. Uh, you have invested in, in very ordinary objects ma magical power. You may go see the, um, uh, the magician, the shaman, and uh, they may do things for you that are magical in nature. When you expose yourself to these sorts of things, what happens unwittingly, unknowingly, you become demon-possessed, demonized. Uh, and so this is how it often happens for so many uh, people. Spiritualism, one of the major areas uh, where you go into a meditative state, a meditative state trying to block out the mind. Mindfulness can be very dangerous. When you're trying to block out your mind and no space, nothing's there, and you're focusing on some object or some thought, that can open you up to demonic possession. I know 
you may seem think that this Philpot is really crazy. Uh, well, maybe I am in some ways. I've lived long enough to uh, uh, to go through a lot of different experiences. But in any case, I do know for a fact that this becomes a gateway to demonic possession. The most popular medium for demonic possession today is astrology. Astrology. It looks fascinating, interesting, variously interpreted. You can find a reason for everything. Anything that happens, you can find a reason. You say, oh, yeah, Saturn is in decline or so-and-so. Um, often astrology is a stepping stone to much, much more, further, further, further in to the occult world. And all of a sudden you discover something has got a hold of me, whether you call it a spirit animal, a spirit guide, a fairy, et cetera, et cetera, or the spirit of a deceased person. Let me tell you, you're now in a really difficult situation. So long.